Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. My name is Acacia. I am going to be reviewing a book today and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys are tired of hearing me talk about Dissociative Identity Disorder or DID, go ahead and click off of this video because this is not for you. If you are curious about more uh, representation that I have found that I found to be a good representation, go ahead and keep watching. So the book I'm going to talk about is Freshwater by Akoeki Amazizi. And I love, hate this book. Um, I only have hatred for it because it really... <sighs> It went a place that I never expected a book to go when talking about DID. Um, and it was really confronting and uncomfortable and really scary for me to kind of read about it. Um, it's something that I know I do and it's something that I know I've experienced, but it's not something that I really wanted to be in my face as something I've experienced. So this book um, is a story of a girl named Ada who grows up in Nigeria and she is born as a person with what is compared to in this book as almost spirits and godlike creatures um, attached to her body and soul. And these godlike spiritual creatures um, have the ability to watch and identify everything that she is doing and soothe her and communicate with her and give her attention and take over her body when necessary in order to protect her. So in one way, it is very accurate to DID. It is extremely honest. It is extremely visceral and real and raw. In another way, it's a different way of looking at DID because to put it into the experience of a spiritual and godlike experience is very different than what I would have ever put it into. I don't feel as if there is any communication with the spirit realm or godlike experience. Um, I, I don't feel it's religious at all or spiritual. Um, I feel as if it is just a mental illness that um, holds a really interesting way of coping with trauma. And I find that the idea of putting it into a spiritual or godlike experience is almost easier to digest rather than just saying that there are multiple parts to a person that can take over and control the other, the, the host. Um, it's almost a, a more softening way of experiencing it and a softer way of explaining it um, because it feels more magical and mystical and it feels more connected to something that is almost explainable versus something that is completely scientific based and almost unexplainable in that scientific base. So this book follows Ada through her life. It is semi time oriented, but there's a lot of jumping around when you reference things like they reference when she gets married and then they talk about when she gets married and then they kind of flash back to what happened to her before she got married. And then they reference things that happened to her when she was six and then they flash back to when she's three. And so it's not chronologically perfectly, but it is pretty chronological. It feels a lot like switching feels. It feels very chaotic and um, unnerving and confusing. And it feels very time lapsey, which is very much how switching feels. So the way that that was done was brilliantly executed. I really appreciated that. The thing in this book, though, that made me the most uncomfortable was the conversation about sex. And 
I haven't gone into detail on how sex works with DID on my channel because it is not something that is comfortable to go into. It is not something that is fully explainable and it's it's something that is very personal. And it's something that I have trouble with discussing with my partners anyway. Um, so to read it and experience it that way was very in your face and was very jarring. And this touches on that experience of having a part of you have sex in your place rather than having you experience sex as a way to protect you. Um, so that is addressed, which is completely honest and true and really accurate, but really intense. Um, the other thing that is addressed in this is self-harm. Um, the the self-harm inflicted on Ada is explained as if it is a, a way of paying tribute to the gods or spiritual beings that are inside of her. That they like to see the blood and they like to feel the life flowing. But also self-harm is a very real thing that happens with people with DID, very frequently, actually. Um, and it is really intense and personal and scary and it feels somewhat shameful. There's a lot of things in this book that I have been very ashamed of that I would not have normally addressed um, that this book touches head on. And it gives a lot of reference to things that are very scary and very jarring. And I really appreciated that. So this book, I don't know if you can tell, I gave it five out of five stars. Um, so far it is my favorite book of the year. I am very impressed by it. I feel really strongly about it. I feel like it is a really brilliant book and I feel like it is really, um, kept a promise of not villainizing DID and not making it out to be some sort of evil creature. Um, though I think there are elements of it that could be perceived as scary to a person outside of the DID community um, or could be perceived as scary to someone outside of a host. Um, but they're not any scarier to you than they are to us as hosts. I mean, as hosts, we, we get scared just as much as you would um, with the idea of losing time when having an intimate moment with a partner or how losing um, track of capability to control ourselves when we create violence against ourselves. It is, it is not something that we go into lightly and it is not something that we appreciate about ourselves as if it is a good thing about ourselves. It is not something that we um, find a lot of pride in. It is usually kept quite quiet. Um, but it's a very real aspect of DID and I really appreciated it coming forward. So there's my review of Freshwater. If you guys have any questions about what DID is or Dissociative Identity Disorder is, I will link both of my videos that I have done answering questions that you guys have put forward to me in my video down below in the doobly-doo. Um, so if you have any questions following up on this video um, that you would like answered, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below and I will either make a new video of questions and answers or I will answer you down there in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, click that subscribe button and I will talk to you in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.